The design of bike wheels is genius. When you want to increase your speed, you simply pedal forward. And once you're up to speed, you can coast. To stop, all you do is pedal backwards. Of course, how you stop depends on what type of bike you have. Mountain bikes or bikes with gears usually have hand brakes. But with simple city bikes or beach cruisers, to stop, you pedal backwards. For this type of bike, the stopping mechanism is called a coaster brake. And while it may look really complicated, it's actually fairly simple and really clever. This is a fully functional 3D printed model of the mechanism. It has cutaways so you can see inside and see exactly how it works. And usually you can't see the mechanism because it's fully contained inside of the hub. If we remove the axle pin, we could take it apart and see what's inside. These three components work together to perform three different functions. And this specific component here is where the magic happens. It fits into the wheel and hub and freely rotates. It's also the piece that the chain drives. The wheel is able to spin around this piece. This orange part, the clutch, makes the entire mechanism possible. And it threads onto this lead screw like so. This is basically the first half of the assembly. The second half is the braking mechanism. When these two pieces slide together, it pushes the brake pad out. And if we fully assemble everything, we can see how all of these parts work together. This gray bar connects to the bike's frame. It keeps the internal braking mechanism from spinning. They could only slide back and forth like so. The threaded lead screw connected to the sprocket and chain pushes the orange clutch piece to engage into the wheel or to engage the brakes. When pedaling forward, the lead screw pushes the orange clutch piece into the tighter portion of the red wheel hub. Now the wheel can be both powered and have the ability to coast. And when pedaling backwards, the orange piece engages into the blue brake piece, expanding the two brake pads. So therefore, if we pedal backwards, it engages the braking system. So we have forward wheel engaged and backwards brake engaged. So in summary, the lead screw connected to the sprocket and chain can move the clutch to engage either the brakes or the wheel. And that's why the design of bike wheels is genius. 3D Printer Academy. We create fun, educational videos using 3D printed models to explain how things work. Download STL designs and purchase in-depth 3D printable kits and engineering science curriculum. The STL designs for this project and many other projects will be available in PrintKit 2.0. Check the description for more info. My name is Steven, thanks for watching and happy printing.